Um, I am so pleased to be able to join Leader Schumer and my colleague and ranking member of the Small Business Committee, Senator Cardin. He, I am grateful for his leadership and for the partnership that we had back in March with Senators Rubio and Collins. It truly was a bipartisan partnership to try and address the challenges that small businesses are facing across this country. In New Hampshire, small businesses are our lifeblood, and they were going under because of this pandemic. So the Paycheck Protection Program has been a lifesaver. But we know that there are things that need to change about it in order for it to continue to help those businesses. In New Hampshire, we've had 22,000 small businesses and nonprofits that have received over $2.5 billion in forgivable loans under the program. Um, but we've also heard from many of those businesses that there are improvements and fixes that are necessary. Businesses like the Little Grill, a New Hampshire restaurant with locations in Littleton and Woodsville. They said the PPP has been a lifesaver, but they have only two weeks remaining on their forgivable term. And if the terms of the loan are not addressed, the owners of the Little Grill told us they'll be back in the same position they were at the start of the pandemic, and they may be forced to lay off staff. And we've heard from the Portsmouth Brewery, which received their PPP loan, and they want to rehire their 28 employees, but they need more flexibility and extensions to the program to resume operations. And then, of course, we've heard from Big Dave's Bagels and Deli in North Conway. His 32-year-old bakery was predominantly takeout before the pandemic, but he was able to keep his employees on and offer hazard pay because his approval for the PPP loan came through at the very end of April. Now he needs flexibility in loan terms if he's going to keep his employees on the payroll. And I could go on and on with example after example, but the important thing is, as Senators Schumer and Cardin have said so eloquently, those first loans are about to be, about to end. And if we don't do something to help those businesses, they're going to be back in the same place that they were in in March when the shelter at home and the stay at home orders began in New Hampshire and across this country. So we need to do something. This legislation addresses the concerns that people have expressed. I think we also need to provide additional funding or additional help over the next month until um, things open back up in the economy. But in the short term, the legislation addresses the concerns that we've been hearing from small businesses. And I hope we're going to see our colleagues pass it by unanimous consent so that there is some certainty for those businesses as they try and open back up in this very difficult environment. Thank you, Madam President.